Team 3D. All oh, fucking deck. All right, guys. Uh, listen, this is videos about. It's gonna be really short. It's about my new back workout. I told you I, I switched my routines a lot because I've been working out for a while now. And my body gets used to workouts, and I start shrinking and shit. So you wanna confuse the muscle. You wanna just you know, you know, keep your body guessing. So I have a new back routine. Um, this one is like I said, it's been tested through trial and error. I've been trying different things, and I, I finally filtered out what really works for me, what my body responds to the most. So this one I call it Operation Condor. If you don't know what the fuck a condor is, it's one of the biggest birds in the world. The wingspan of a condor is like Kevin Durant's wingspan. It's fucking huge. And I use condor because, you know, wings, lats. Um, so Operation Condor, really what I focus on, I focus on is um, how I came up with this. First of all, I, I wrote down on a piece of paper back, you know, I have a page for all my back exercises. And I wrote down all the back exercises. Then um, I selected the top five exercises for back. You know, top five. I don't fuck around with fancy movements that don't give results. Compound movements or great isolation movements that give results. So I isolated five movements and I kind of like, you know, structured them based on time, location, you know, with the gym I'm going to, things like that, to come up with the best workout within 45 minutes to an hour. So just a quick rundown of the, of the workout, Operation Condor. Uh, I'm focusing on the purpose. I put purpose. I'm focusing on back width and thickness, uh, upper back, muscle bellies and things like that, my rhomboid area, my traps. And actually on that day I trained back, like pretty much I trained lower back, you know, lats, and also my rhomboids, you know, and my traps because I want to get that whole, you know, the whole part of your back pretty much, you know, and I end the workout with side laterals to focus on the, you know, the width. So it's pretty much my whole back area. Um, I'm focusing, I'm focusing more on lower back. I went back to deadlifts, believe it or not. I had stopped because of injuries, but I went back because I'm trying to get that Christmas tree physics of greatness, give me a little, you know, push on that, you know, push me back to get back into deadlifts because... I really need a uh, that Christmas tree going, but anyway, uh, I start off with a warm up. Uh, what I do is I don't really count sets, guys, fellas. I don't I don't really count sets. What I do is I give myself a time period to work a, a specific body part. Like I would say, work out lower back for seven minutes. So I'm looking at the clock, I'm squeezing, you know, I'm focusing on like good contractions, and I'm also looking at the time. Within seven minutes, I got to get this shit done. If it takes three sets or five sets, it doesn't matter. You're not robots. Listen to your body. Don't just say five sets. What if you need six? What if you need three? What if you need two? You know, you got to listen to your body. So, seven minutes of me warming up and stretching, you know, stretching the muscle, pulling the muscle. Because, like I said, I had a bad lower back injury that I don't want to repeat again. So, um, I do hyper extensions for seven minutes along with stretching with a 45-pound plate to kind of like warm up my back for the deadlifts. Then I begin my deadlifts. I focus on good form. I try not to go too heavy. Like I do, like my, my heaviest set was 265 pounds for 10, 10 reps. You know, and I focus on, on my lower back for 10 minutes. So 10 minutes of deadlifting, you know, with like one to two minute breaks in between. Work, you know, um, wear a fucking belt. Don't forget that. Also, uh, after that, I went on to chins. Chins to focus on like the, you know, the lats, the wings. Uh, I did that for seven minutes. Like I said, I don't count sets. I just keep going for seven minutes. Take breaks in between. And then I went on to bent over rows. Man, this is like the MVP of my, my routine. Bent over rows, a great mass builder. So I kind of did the, usually I do underhand grip, but now I'm doing the overhand grip. You know, focusing on three things, um, squeezing, well, I'm, I'm going to talk about that later. So bent over rows, uh, like I said, I don't go too heavy on that, except for, like one time I did 195 pounds for 17 reps, but I was kind of cheating, you know. And like I said in my other video, every time I do a back exercise, I go to the page of my log, my workout log, where I had back exercise listed and I try to beat my previous record. Every exercise that I do, I write down my best lift and when I go to the gym the next week, I have to, I have to you know, kind of beat that. So, try doing that, it really helps, you know, get you know, get your, your strength up and it motivates you. Then I did T-ball rows for also seven minutes and I was done with my back training, you know, like I said, hyper extensions, deadlifts, chins, bent over row and T-ball rows. Uh, and then after that, I started focusing on like the, you know, my traps, up, upright rows, Super set with ball bench rows, so I do upright rows, wide grip, and as soon as I reach failure, I go ahead and I do um, ball bench rows. I try not to go too heavy because I'm doing a super set here. And then after that, I, I just did you know side laterals, three sets because the gym was closing and I was the last guy in the gym. So just to kind of like focus on the whole back area. I was gonna do rear delts, but like I said the gym closed, so I didn't have time. But guys, this is my workout. Um, focus on three things. I call them the three S's: S S S, squeeze on every repetition, squeeze when you're doing. Um, chin, squeeze at the top, and you're doing bent over roll, squeeze, um, T-bar roll, make sure you squeeze the, you know, get get a good contraction. Number two, when you're doing rail ducks, slouch your back, you know, like, 
you don't want to do real dust like this because believe it or not, if you're doing this, you're gonna be, you know, using your um, your own boards a lot. When you're doing real dust, focus on real dust. You want to actually slouch your back this way. Only your real delts are moving. And, and trust me, when you try slouching your back, it's a big difference. All the emphasis goes to your real delts. And number three, stretch in between sets. In between all my sets, I stretch the muscle, get the blood in there, because you don't want to get injured and snap your shit up like I did. All right, guys, that's my back workout. I'm going to try to put in a description if you need it. Uh, like I said, it has a purpose. It's for back width and thickness. Every workout that I have, I don't just go and say today's back day. No. Every workout, every day, it has a specific purpose. Back width, for example, or upper chest development. I name my I name my workouts based on the the desired product that I want. You know, so this one the purpose was back width, Operation Fucking Condor, Team 3D. Subscribe.